Hi everybody and welcome to Golden Hour, show about living your best life. Today, I'd like to talk to you about why you shouldn't compare yourself to anyone else. So if you'd like to learn why you shouldn't compare yourself to anyone else, keep watching. Today I'd like to talk to you about making comparisons with other people. I come from a family where everything was compared. How tall you were, how thin you were, how educated you were, how wonderful of a baker you were. And so I was always an overachiever and I reached the top in most of those categories in my family. And But it was a lot of pressure to always be the best at everything, always be an A student, always maintain, you know, a good weight, uh, always take good care of myself, you know, I mean, always make sure there was makeup on and that your face looked nice. And it, and it really was a lot of pressure and it's something that you can't, you can't keep that level your entire life. And you get to a certain age where you gain weight and you get older and now when you compare yourself to someone else maybe you're not at that upper level so here are some reasons why you shouldn't compare yourself to other people one of the first reasons is that we look at people's lives from the outside looking in and we see a sliver of their perfect life their anniversary their vacation the picture perfect family we don't know that maybe for two hours before that picture, they were all bickering or arguing. We don't know what sacrifices they had to make to take that trip. So when you compare like that, you're not really comparing apples to apples. Maybe your choice wasn't to take that perfect vacation, but you bought a new car or your animal needed surgery or you know, you opted to take a lower paying job to have a better quality of life. So when you compare stuff like that, you're not looking at the full picture and it sets you up to feel inadequate, to have, it sets you up to put you lower and the other person higher. Another reason why you shouldn't compare yourself is that some people are born with advantages that you may not have, okay? And so, the playing field is not level. I was born to very old parents. They were in their late 40s when they had me. So I already have lost them many years ago, decades ago, and I've lost my sister almost a decade ago. So when I look at other people and their big families, there's sadness for me because I don't have that but I wasn't given the same advantage that some other people were. We came from a poor family, so, you know, I already didn't have the advantage that many people have when they first start out. I didn't get the wedding all paid for by my parents. I paid for it. So I already started at a disadvantage. So when you do that, when you look at that situation, it's not fair. You can't compare your achievements when you started out from rock bottom to somebody who was given a $20,000 wedding from their family or was given a house or was given money when their family, when their parents died. You have to look at it just looking at your own successes in a vacuum, not comparing yourself to anyone from the outside world or you're truly going to make yourself very unhappy. Another reason you shouldn't compare yourself to anyone else is a major time waster. You're wasting time on what should be, what could have been, what you wish had happened. And instead of spending that time in the moment, bettering your life now for yourself. Comparing yourself to someone else robs you of joy. It makes what you're doing seem lesser. Suppose you're at home and you're truly enjoying a movie that you're watching at home on the couch and you're, you're with your dog or your significant other or your child, but you're sitting at home watching a movie and in that moment you're really happy to be relaxing with your loved ones. But you jump on Facebook 
and you see that a group of people that you, you know are in Greece sitting on the Mediterranean sipping a glass of wine. Now all of a sudden your wonderful evening at home pales in comparison to their Greek vacation. So it robs you of joy in that moment. And when you look at the accomplishments of someone else and you compare them to yourself and you say, wow, you know, we're the same age and this person's here and I'm way here. It elevates them and puts you down. Did that person have an advantage you didn't have? Were they in the right place at the right time? Or maybe their choices led them there and you chose a different path. Maybe you chose the path to live a simpler life. So again, the comparison doesn't work. Another thing I think you shouldn't compare the life you have now to the life you have before. This is something that I tend to struggle with. I grew up with a big extended family. Now they're all gone. So when the holidays come, it's me and my son on one of the days and me alone with the dog on the other day. And I compare it to the Christmases where there were 25 people. That brings me sadness. Instead, live in the moment, be thankful that you have the one person or two people that you have in your life and if you don't even have them, be thankful that you are alive and here for the holidays and stop comparing to what was. When I was teaching English, one of the things I always told my students was not to compare their work to others. They could look to other people's work to see how to change and how to make changes and how to better themselves, but not to compare their writing to the writing of someone else in the class. Rather, to compare their writing against their own writing from a month or a year ago and better themselves that way. So don't compare yourselves to other people. Be thankful what you have live in the moment and have joy in the moment and don't let wanting what someone else has rob you of the joy that you have now. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and if this video helped you in any way, click like, click subscribe and share and comment below and I'll see you next week. Go get your shine on.